Hey YouTube, General Expert here, and I have the infamous Olympus OM10 35mm film camera from back in the day. This thing's beautiful, man. Pretty sure this is the inspiration for the OMD EM5 that's out right now. Um, but anyway, I just picked this baby up from a uh, thrift store and uh, went there and, and just saw it lying in the bottom of a plastic bin amongst a whole bunch of other, you know, junk. But uh, saw this thing shining, picked it up, and it had this lens attached to it, which is the 50 millimeter. Uh, I think it's obviously the kit lens that came with it, maybe. Um, but uh, I also found this, which was sitting in there too. It, it's a full leather um, lens case with a cool little button on it. And it's 75 to 150 millimeter. But uh, this stuff was all in like, I mean, like new condition. Lenses look fantastic. I mean, look at that. The only thing that I've noticed with this lens, and I actually already posted a video about it, about it, um, but the aperture uh, ring here, it doesn't change the actual aperture. So I'm thinking that it's stuck wide open, um, you know, just for me, from being so old. So, um, yeah, that other video I posted, I was asking for help. If anyone knows how to fix that, let me know. But uh, back to the camera here. Um, so, you know, being that this camera is so old, it had a, a problem, which is the seals back here in the uh, film bay were getting all rotted out. And in these little channels here, there's little foam seals that, that run along those channels, the top and bottom area. You can kind of see in there right there. Let's see if I can focus on that. Yeah, you can kind of get a an idea of what I'm talking about. Really small area. And so um, what I decided to do was change the uh, way that it's sealed off because I didn't want to take the time to try to reseal it from inside that tiny little channel. So, you know, I used some acetone and, and uh, paper clips and popsicle sticks and scraped all that gunk out of there. It was just black sticky tar I mean at this at this point this many years old I believe this camera's from the late 70s I think but um yeah like I said the the stuff in here just turned into black tar so every time I opened and shut this uh, film door um, there would literally be sticky black tar all over it so anyway so what I decided to do was scrape all that crap out of there the best I could and I did get it pretty good there's I don't think there's anything left in there. I even took some of the paint off. But uh, I'm going to show you here. I went out and I found, well, let me just show you first, and I'll show you what I used. I, I lined the, uh, the little channels inside this film door, as well as there's a, let's see if you can see this. Yeah, there you go. You can see that. Um, so the channels inside this film door and... The little area that the little flap there that that uh, presses against the side here um, it's all felt so I, I basically cut it up and it's sticky on one side and I put it in there a big old thick strip of felt um, wide I guess I should say uh, it's only one and a half millimeters thick I'm pretty sure um, everywhere that I there was a seal there was a, um, and, and everywhere there was a seal, I, I basically replaced it um, and wanted, I wanted all the sealing to go on on this door. And uh, so that's what I did. I just, you know, did the best job I could. Um, you can see there's two little black foam pads underneath this uh, film compressor tab here. And uh, that I didn't want to mess with just because it hardly ever gets touched and I didn't want it to crumble everywhere, so just left it. Um, <clears throat> I think the job of that must be to just 
get rid of any reflection of light, I guess. I don't know. Because I'm guessing behind these tabs it's not painted. But uh, anyway, it seems to work out better than it originally did, which is cool. But let me show you actually what I used. I went to uh, the Do It Center, if anyone has one of those where you live. But uh, I found this. I was actually looking for some felt tape or something, or I didn't even really know what I was looking for. Um, but I was first trying to scope out some, like, you know, weather sealant, like a, a tape, um, some sort of foam tape that would be, you know, perfect for it. But obviously, there was nothing like that to be found. So I found this felt blanket that lines the inside of a drawer. And it's super sticky on one side, and you can see how thin that is. It's about one and a half to two millimeters thick at the most. Really, really thin stuff. And I just cut it up. I cut the little pieces that I need needed, and, you know, it, the best I could. It didn't have to be perfect, because all it is is just, you know, lining this thing and sealing off uh, for light. So... Uh, you know, I, I stuck it in there and then I shut the door. I made sure it was all in nice and perfect and I shut the door and let it sit there for a day. So it sealed completely and you can kind of see the indention there, uh, where it meets the body of the camera. I mean, this thing seals really, really good. Uh, the, the way it shuts now, it just shuts nice and tight and, uh, definitely not going to ever have a problem with that again. So, but anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this cool Olympus OM-10 that's like brand new condition. Um, and uh, yeah, man, hats off to Olympus on the great design. Um, I think the OM-D EM-5 that's out nowadays is a fantastic looking camera, which is kind of why, why I wanted to get one of these. But uh, also, I... I you know, I shot film back in high school and just for one one uh, year, and I uh, I wanted to get back into it just to kind of learn photography a little bit better. Um, maybe get a DSLR or, or something like that here soon. But uh, anyway, guys, that's the Olympus OM10, and this is General Expert signing out.